Welcome to Nature School, an extraordinary, larger-than-life backdrop where there are no lectures but only practical lessons. Nature is the most beautiful school where there are deep, profound, life-enhancing lessons. But we are often busy and in the hustle and bustle, we often miss out on the silent messages and cues that nature offers us and that can help us to create a life of happiness and flourishing. Of course, it takes awareness to notice these cues. We can learn from all creatures, big and small, in this universe. So today let's talk about the butterfly. The butterfly has always been a symbol of growth, endurance, hope and transformation. Children are fascinated and delighted by the colors, the beauty, the freedom of the butterfly. And that's why we all love to chase it. Metamorphosis is the process of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. After going through this painful process, there is a complete change in appearance and character of the caterpillar for the better. It is the process in which there is the revelation of the inner beauty dormant within the caterpillar. This is very similar to the blossoming and discovering of human potential. After we go through an inner transformation that happens through the process of reflection and realization, the inner beauty begins to get revealed. The butterfly teaches us that changes happens in various stages and this transformation is internal. And usually it is this change that brings about sublime beauty which emerges from within. The caterpillar is an interesting creature, mainly concerned about survival and that is chewing on the next leafy meal. Contrast to that of a butterfly, which is free to fly high and experience a magnificent view, which is not available to a caterpillar. It moves from the nuclear vision to a broad expanded vision, also serving the community. We often find ourselves too caught up in the survival mode, avoiding pain and approaching pleasure, choosing the safety and comfort versus growth and learning, which means stepping out of the comfort zone. The initial stage of change is embracing the idea to change, and the caterpillar goes through the feeding stage, where it chews on all the leafy stuff, and this is food which is going to be stored and used later. In the same way, we often begin to contemplate, we prepare and gather all the information, ideas, rich life experiences, the direction that we need to change. Acquisition of knowledge is essential and this is going to be fuel and nourishment for our new form. The butterfly teaches us the beauty of solitude the importance of solitude. The shift begins to happen inside when the caterpillar goes through the cocoon stage. This stage is symbolic of a lot of contemplation, creativity happening inside in terms of human development. We get ready to shed our old skin and take on the new one. Next, the butterfly struggles to emerge from the cocoon and this is painful and it seems like the butterfly won't make it. But there is a wonderful lesson here that the butterfly has to go through the struggle so that the fuel, the fluid can get pushed from the stomach into the wings and make it strong enough to fly. Hmm. Struggles make us strong. Problems help us to get wiser. Obstacles help us to develop courage. We learn about humility when we go through hardships. We learn about compassion and love in helping the troubled and the distressed. What do you want to become? A caterpillar or a butterfly? Believe it or not, but you have butterfly potential. The cells needed to become a butterfly are already within the caterpillar. If you really want to fly, you will have to give up being a caterpillar. 
the talents and skills are already within each one of us, but they will blossom only if we give it a chance and a favorable environment. The intense desire to grow is essential. As Bob Dylan said, behind every beautiful thing, there is some kind of pain. When someone is successful, success is all that we see, not the struggles that they have gone through that has shaped their present. So, when the old dies and is lost, it's the birth of the new. With this rebirth, there is a prize. And the prize is letting go of the old patterns of beliefs, thoughts, emotional reactions, unconscious behaviors and habits. And this is when the crawling creature experiences the miracle of flying. In the inner cocoon, the darkness dissolves and the light emerges. So there are plenty of valuable lessons that the small creature can teach us. I would appreciate if you can reflect on them and see how you can apply it in your life to make it more inspiring, empowered and flourishing. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely day.